Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. In this video, I'm going to show you a very quick, simple routine that you can use to improve your groin flexibility and mobility. So, you don't need to be flexible to do this. You can be a total beginner, no yoga experience required, and you also won't need any equipment for this. To do this, you're going to get on a, well, a yoga mat or a surface that doesn't slide. So I wouldn't recommend doing this on a hardwood floor with socks on, but carpet uh, should be okay. Turn your toes slightly in, bend your knees a little bit, keep your torso long. So I want you to avoid rounding your back and letting your chest cave in. And then from here, pull your torso forward. Again, bending at your knees, bring your hands to the floor, pull your chest forward. So this is the first part of this. This is called a wide-legged forward fold. And here you're going to feel stretching through the backs of your legs and your inner thighs. You do want to have your abs tight here, so think of pulling your belly button up and in, and then try to squeeze your quadriceps, the fronts of your thighs here, as you're doing this. From here, you're going to just slowly start bending into one side, keeping the weight in your hips. So as you sink to one side, focus on pushing down through your heel and you should feel that weight in your butt. Make sure that it's not just going forward into the knee. And then inhale back to the middle. Exhale, switch to the other side. Again, pushing down through your heel. You should feel that weight in your butt. And then you're just going to go back and forth like that. So kind of working into your groin mobility, keeping your chest upright. Make sure that your lower back isn't popping up above your hips and you're not rounding your back. So you want to think aiming your sternum, that muscle, or sorry, that bone in the front of your heart. You want to think aiming that bone forward and then moving just kind of back and forth here. And the next progression of this is going into Cossack squats. So this involves sinking into one side. So I'm going to sink to my left and now I'm going to rock onto the, onto the back of my right heel, turn my toes to face up and squeeze my toes back toward me. Now, if you're not very mobile here, or your ankles aren't mobile, and you maybe you just don't do a lot of ankle work, what's gonna happen is your back heel is going to come off the ground like this, or your, the heel uh, of the leg that you're leaning towards is going to come off the ground. And that's totally normal. That's gonna happen, especially if you don't do yoga a lot. But as you get stronger, that heel is going to be able to stay down on the ground. Now, as you're sinking here, I want you to squeeze your right thigh. And initially, you might need to have your hands on the ground like this. Maybe you want to have them behind you like this. Whatever you need to do, that's fine. And then again, I do want to have my legs active here, so I don't want to just be passive. I want to see if I can squeeze my thighs in this position and make sure that I'm putting the weight in my butt. And then I'm going to switch to the other side, <sighs> sinking over to my right leg. Those to the toes can turn slightly out, but I don't want you to turn them way to the outside. So you shouldn't be bending into it like this. All right, the toes can face slightly out though. Driving down through your heels, weight in your hips, and then shifting to the back of your left heel now, squeezing your left thigh, allowing your hips to sink toward the ground. Again, weight in the hips, so you should feel your butt working. The easiest way to do that is to drive down through your heel and then switching back to the other side. So you can continue through this, maybe doing three to five reps total on each side, holding for 10 to 20 seconds. Just make sure that you don't have any pain as you're doing this. If you do have pain, then don't go as deep and focus on getting the weight in your butt and using your hips, not putting the weight in your knees. And again, as you do this, you're gonna notice that you can get deeper every time. It might feel a little bit smoother as you progress and as you do this over time. The cool thing about this is it actually gets better the first time you do it. So as you do these reps, just kind of going back and forth like you see me doing, it's going to feel better every rep. And then I would do that, again, three to five reps per side. Um, the first time that you do it, so the first time you lean to one side, I would hold there for about 20 to 30 seconds, just kind of getting your body used to it before actually going into the full um, Cossack squat. And that's that. So you guys can do this every day if you want to. Um, I recommend doing it, um, well, you can do it in the morning, you can do it in the evening. It totally is up to you, dependent on your schedule, whenever it's convenient for you. Again, I'd recommend doing this. If you want to do this every day, that's fine. You can also do it up to two times per day or three times per day if you want. This isn't too demanding on the body, um, but it does take a lot of mobility to do. So don't be discouraged if you can't quite go as deep as you want to at first. I wouldn't even, um, if, like, if, it's, if it's difficult for you to lean into one side like this, so if this is challenging enough for you, then I wouldn't worry about going up onto the back of the heel 
until this becomes easier for you and more manageable and you feel like you're doing this with the weight in your hips and not putting too much pressure in the knees. And then you can progress to actually doing the full Cossack squat. Cossack squat, excuse me. And that's that. So uh, I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Make sure to follow me there for content like this. Put it out very regularly. And um, if you like this video, make sure to like it, comment, and share. And if you want to learn more about what I do with Manful Yoga, you're looking for a full program, maybe on hip mobility or something to work on your flexibility, strength, balance. I've got tons of training programs on my website at manfulyoga.com. You can check that out there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you on the next video.